Hey friends, this is Eminem Pro and our regular digest of Mom Spaghetti. It's been a whole month since our last video, we took a little break. First things first, it's a special day because this very same day, 6 years ago, April 30th, 2012, we released the first issue of our EJ magazine. Now, to celebrate this event, we issued a special edition and it's available in PDF format as well as in our iPhone and Android apps. Be sure to check it out. Okay, now let's reminisce on everything we've heard from Eminem these past weeks. April 3rd, Eminem released his new video for Framed, which fans came to love. The video has similar visuals and atmosphere to 3AM from Relapse. It's actually quite interesting to watch both concept-wise and just from the pleasure of entertainment. So go on, watch it again, if it's been a while since you've last seen it. In April, the album Revival reached 700 million streams on Spotify. The total number of plays through all major streaming services is more than 1 billion. Of course, the main event, which we want to dedicate this episode to, is Eminem's performance at Coachella. As usual, Eminem started rehearsing a few days before the show, and he did his best to entertain the fans. First he published a video where he was dancing to Berserk track, and then out of the blue, he took over his own Twitter. What are you doing? I'm on Twitter. What? I'm taking control of my own Twitter now. Okay. And it was only the beginning. M even used Twitter to text his manager Paul Rosenberg who also now manages Def Jam. Paul, answer your fucking phone, was Eminem's tweet. Paul's response was, this is so embarrassing, apparently pointing out to M that Twitter posts are not for private conversations. So Marshall's finally caught up with the times and now is running his own social media himself. He even recorded a story for his followers on Instagram telling about an upcoming album from one of Shady's artists, Boogie. M jokingly said that likes Boogie only because he's on Shady Records, but by the end of the story, he mentions he also thinks he's a good artist too, same Shady we've known for years. Let's cross fingers and hope that M is going to be present on the album. April 14th, Eminem dropped a new app which will allow fans to have an extraordinary experience at his summer concerts. The app is called Eminem Augmented and it uses AR technology. If you look at the trailers, it looks great. And by the way, don't forget to download our app because we are also preparing a big surprise for you. So where were we? Ah yes, Coachella. This show was different from all the other M&Ms done in the past years. The new stage, the visuals, and a brand new set of songs to what was constantly performed earlier. It also features such great acts as Dr. Dre, 50 Cent with a couple of his classics performed alongside Eminem, and of course the female parts were accompanied by Skylar Grey. Another unexpected feature was the performance of Monster alongside songwriter Bebe Rexa. Classic hits with Dre like Still D.R.E., Nothing But A G Thing, Forgot About Dre, and California Love were all performed with Eminem doing his verses and Snoop Dogg's parts as well, which was refreshing. Watch the performance on our channel and see it for yourself. And write about other fun things you've noticed about the show in the comments. Let's hope this is the new visual format for future shows. M did two shows at Coachella and they were both unbelievable. We have full videos in high quality on our channel. Make sure you watch them right now after this video if you haven't. Recently Eminem shared a selfie with Motown King Smokey Robinson. Smokey confirmed on his Twitter that this was a photo from the studio. Studio time with Young Legends, he wrote, commenting pictures with Dr. Dre, Eminem, Snoop Dogg, and Anderson Park. Looks like these guys are preparing something hard for us. Let's hope for it. Last week, we had some bad news from the Shady Cam. Shady's supergroup, Slaughterhouse, suffered another loss. KXNG Crooked announced that he's leaving the group. This was later confirmed by Royce59 when he tweeted, Done deal, let's all move on, it was fun. The only positive is that the group split without any beef or arguments, neither within the group nor with Shady Records. So maybe there's a glimmer of hope that someday Glasshouse will see the light of day. M. Paul, 
please let us hear it. On April 22nd, M celebrated his 10th anniversary of being sober. He posted a photo of himself holding an anniversary badge. The tracks Castle and Arose from his latest studio album touch upon the topic of his past addiction and near death from overdose. It's been 10 years. Keep it up, M. We believe in you. The International Federation of the Phonographic Industry published their annual global music report with a top-selling artist, album, and song list for 2017. Eminem holds fifth place in a list of the most popular and top-selling artists of 2017, while his new album, Revival, which came out in December, holds eighth place in the world's top 10 albums of 2017. On April 26, Eminem tweeted about a studio session with his singer Jesse Rez. In a studio with my new super talented friend Jesse, says the tweet with a quite peculiar selfie. Maybe it's Sam's new invention. So we might be in for a new collab soon. Last but not least, May 4th, or maybe even sooner, we will hear Marshall's new collaboration with Royce59. The track Caterpillar from Royce's upcoming album Book of Ryan with Logic on the remix of the track. Get ready for a biology lesson from Bad Meets Evil. That's it for today. Subscribe and follow on Twitter and Facebook. Peace.